Good afternoon, I'm Sean Yao and this is One News Now. Republicans in Pennsylvania have launched the Count Every Vote campaign after incumbent President Donald Trump cried alleged fraud in the battleground state. Recall that Trump's camp asked to intervene in a pending U.S. Supreme Court case to allow Pennsylvania to accept late ballots. They also filed lawsuits in Michigan and Pennsylvania seeking to halt vote counting in the said states. This is on the basis of officials supposedly failing to grant fair access to counting sites. Because of this, Pennsylvania Governor Tom Wolf appealed to his constituents to stay calm and assured them that every vote will be counted. Based on Reuters' unofficial tally as of 12 noon, Trump is leading the presidential race in Pennsylvania by over 200,000 popular votes. But Democratic candidate Joe Biden is still closer to the 270 victory with 243 electoral votes. In a tweet, Trump lamented that the integrity of the American voting system and the presidential election has already been damaged. He is now demanding discussions on these issues. On the weather, we have severe tropical storm Shawnee maintaining its strength as it moves closer to the Luzon Strait. Because of this, Batanes and the entire Babuyan Islands are put under tropical cyclone wind signal number two. While the northern portion of mainland Cagayan, Apayao, and Ilocos Norte are still under six signal number one. Pagasa warns that STS Shawnee will further accelerate west or no west northwestward in the next 48 hours. It is still on track to make landfall over Batanes and Babuyan Islands by tomorrow morning and exit the Philippine area of responsibility on Saturday. Meanwhile, a new low-pressure area is forecast to enter the PAR tomorrow or Saturday. The LPA was last spotted almost 2,000 kilometers east of Visayas. However, it is not expected to develop into a tropical depression within the next 24 hours. Filipinos may have to wait until May 2021 before a coronavirus vaccine is made available in the country. In an interview with 1PHS Wagpo, NTF Chief Implementer Carlito Galvez disclosed that we are now in talks with China, Russia, and another British company called AstraZeneca for clinical trials of the vaccine. However, he said that since all COVID-19 vaccines are still in trial phases, we can't expect a vaccine to be distributed to the Philippines within the year. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register for a free account at www.signalplay.com and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Sean Yao. We are One News.